shelter hold you Look in your eyes See what controls you Hey everybody, I'm Larry Ramirez with Case Outdoor Sports and you are watching the Other Guys Sports Show. Hello Crystal City and all the surrounding areas. My name is Jesus Ramon. I'm a fellow graduate from Crystal City High School class of 2002. I'm here to give some insight on what J11 Financial can help you with. For individuals, we offer retirement services such as a traditional IRA, Roth IRA, and 401k rollover. We also offer other investments such as individual and joint accounts, UTMA, and 529 college savings. We also offer life insurance, such as term, whole life, and final expense. For our business owners, we offer retirement and investment accounts, key person insurance. We also offer group benefits for your employees, such as medical, dental, vision, and life insurance. Please feel free to contact me if you'd like to learn more about what we can do for you. You can reach us at 210-373-2220. From everyone here at J11 Financial, we want to wish everyone a safe and happy school year. Go Hawks go! Frank Settler at Capital Chevrolet. Call me at 512-848-5791. Go Hawks go! Beyond Blessed Boutique and Solonsky Welding and Pump would like to wish the Mighty Javelinas a very successful year. Go Hogs, go! Let's go. All right. Welcome to the Other Guy Sports Show. Myself, Bobby Castillo. Robert Azul Martinez. Here in Crystal City, Texas. High School Gymnasium, where the Crystal City Havanese will be taking on the Divine War Horses. Robert, are you ready for this? Oh, I am ready, though. I am ready because, you know, Divine has always been a tough opponent. You know, I know in the football field, in all, in all aspects, in all, in all sports, doesn't matter what it is. Maybe not so strong in basketball. We, yeah. I know we talked about that in the... Yeah. But uh, the, there's some seasons that Divine comes in strong. I remember in a few years well, ago. To me, Divine, Coach Sessions on the girls' basketball, I really have enjoyed the last maybe eight, nine years. But um, the boys' varsity basketball has not, I don't think they I think they're just uh, uh, up to par with us. Mm, maybe less. Yeah. Yeah, I know the, 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 the freshman boys, they were victorious. I uh, yes. can't remember the score, but it wasn't, it wasn't yeah. that close of a game. Yeah, it was 47 or something, like 24 maybe. Yeah, so right now we'll be watching the JV squad here, so it should be interesting. You know, I know yeah. I, I wasn't here last week. Yeah, and of course, both of us are employed, um, so we come in late. Yes, full-time <laughs> so employment. I just, I'm here with my work clothes. <laughs> 
So, yeah, I but I'm happy to be here. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind being out of the way. You know, somehow mm. I get to work, I get tired. Here somehow it gives me energy somehow yo, once I'm here. Yo, no cansado. I'm tired. No, no, no. Todo lo más porque... I hope there's some excitement in this basketball game. Oh, no, no. So I can I, get I myself it. pumped up again. Uh, I feel it. So uh, I don't have, oh, you know what? I've been asking for the roster, so I might have the JV roster here now. Yeah, we're mm. definitely going to start here in seven seven minutes here per quarter. Keep in mind, we'll be also broadcasting the varsity, the varsity game after the conclusion of this game here. Keep in mind, this is the JV squad. Yeah, number one, Angel Velasquez. Number 24, Jerry Uravaso. Number 11, Adrian Saucedo. Number 30, Jesus Arenas. And number 21, Raymond Hernandez on the court right now for the Javelinas. <coughs> and this is a real talented squad themselves here. So I feel there's a lot of talent. All the way to seventh grade, Robert, in this basketball program for Christmas City. Oh, I know. I saw a little bit of the freshman team. There was some nice talent there also on the squad. And uh, we talked about it in the past that I think when you mentioned Crystal City, we have a lot of ballers here, uh, yeah. uh, uh, males and females. Yes. Let's see what kind of offense we get. Or are we going to get to start shooting, number one? Attacks the basket, Velasquez. I like that. The ag aggression is early on here. Set the tone. Yes. I think, Bobby, we need to adjust the volume. It's kind of low here. It, it, you I see it? You want me to go ahead and just, yeah, just raise it a little, little bit? Yeah, little, give it a little notch. Let's see. my test. my test. There, there you go. That's that's good. That's a massive meal loud. No, no. I think it's... It's a real sensitive key. Let us know if it, this sounds better, though. <laughs> the audience will well, give us the feedback. Okay, let me see here. Two points on the scoreboard. Let me update the scoreboard. So, yeah, let us know how... Como se oye. Yeah, I know. We can adjust it here. How's the volume, guys? Yeah, give us a thumbs up. I'll be... Monitoring the chat room on YouTube, but Bobby will be the Facebook. Right. So we got four users. At Alf Robinson. Ben Perez says, We're too loud, Robert. Oh, okay. Bring it down. See? See? It? Bring it down. And that's not our wife saying that. That's uh, an actual fan. So, Mike Tess, Mike Tess. Testing, testing, testing. L let us know now, Ben. What yeah. do you think? I and I'm not screaming, so hopefully. <laughs> Especially if the game gets too close, I'm, I might be standing on top of a table and stuff. <laughs> so, <laughs> so free throw line here. Velasquez on the line. This is Hernandez with a great rebound. Early here in the first period, 3-0 yeah. Avalinas. And I like that too, you know, kind of coming from the, the backside, pickpocketing the ball. I'm that, surprised no more teams do that. Yeah, that's well that is common, you know. People need to know when do you when do you go for the double? Oh, oh a charge. A charge. I did not see that one coming, but hmm. number three there for the war horses. Good, good, good job. job there uh -huh. for number three for exactly. the war horses. They took the charge. Kinda of reminds me of the Spurs, I kill white. Man, he's a beast doing charging. I don't even know who that is, Rob. Is uh, that a new first? player? Or? No, it's been there for a few years, though, but it's a real nose for the defense. Kind of like Patty Mills, remember back in the day? Oh, Patty Mills, Tyler, that's Yeah. yeah it's but, uh, he's real good. I forget, is it Danny White? No, it's not Danny White. I forgot his first name. I just know him by White. But Danny White was a quarterback, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the Cowboys. Talk about the Cowboys. Big game on Sunday. Oh, man. It's... it's I'm excited about that game big time, man. Oops, sorry. Wrong oh, team. 5-0 oh. here. 5-0 oh run here for the Javelina. Mm -hmm. The ball goes out of bounds. 4.49 left here in the first period. Early, early action here. So far, I like the pace here.
And also as a reminder that uh, this is the last regular season game, right, for the Javelinas, then district play will start? Correct. I think district play starts Friday. I think you told me uh, against Ovalde? No, it's going to be Pearsall. Oh, Pearsall. Or, that's my understanding, Pearsall. Yeah, I know because of COVID, there's been some cancellations. So. Well, yeah, today they had a, the girls canceled in, in, you know, you might be right, it might be Ovalde, Robert. Yeah, so in other words, what I'm getting at, oh, nice three. Good shot there. So because of COVID, you know, uh, there might be cancellations at the last second, so bear with us. You might see a game they're posted as a reminder, but uh, if, there's no, if there's no game, of course, you know, oh, it will be canceled. It's a nice 10-0 run here. So 10-0 run, that was pretty fast, and all due to good defense, created offense. I mean, out of the gates, man, those, the must no, the Mustangs, the... Havelin is here, just basically kick the door open. Yeah. So this is where Divine... No, no, Timeout Divine. Looks like he's, they're in trouble and nobody can came back in the system. Yeah, and a lot of times you just got to be able to pivot yourself out of the, you know, that kind of trouble to find somebody or call yourself, get yourself a timeout. A lot of players forget that they themselves can call timeout. Yeah, that's true. So... So 10-0, Robert, you want to go ahead and do a 30-second commercial? Yeah, quick commercial. We'll, we'll be right. Right, we're back here after the first time out for Divine. Crystal City's trying to get him on a trap there. You know, I'm looking forward to you know, changing the subject to the Cowboys van on no. Sunday. A lot of say, no, no, you have to worry about the, the Niners. Oh, you know what? You got to worry about the Cowboys. Yeah, <laughs> Niners, I actually wanted the Niners mainly because I have a few brothers that are big-time Niner fans. It would be awesome for uh, our family just to get out of the way before the, you know, we could have, we should have, and all that. Silence it either you beat us or we beat you, and let's let's get it on. I'm excited about that. Yeah, it's kind of an old rivalry. You know, they haven't met in the playoffs in a long time, so, so it's good. So, yeah, Robert, just to confirm, we, we do start Friday at Uvalde. So, just went back to my notes. Another basket here. 14-0 lead here for the Javelinas. And a special thanks to Daniel Gomez Photography, man, for, you know, doing some artwork for the other guy's sports show. I'm excited to bring that for you guys, hopefully by Friday. I know we saw some of his artwork. Looks sharp, top notch. Yeah, I think he's been doing a lot of the areas around that does all the sports. Make sure you get with Daniel Gomez Photography. If you're a student athlete, you know, get yourself your posters or banners and all that good stuff. Yeah, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have seen him. Uh, the local athletes here, the parents and, you know, uncles, mm -hmm. they've been posting in Facebook, you know, pictures. Yeah. That's just a glimpse of, of, of the things he can do. Mm -hmm. And for the... For the other guy's sports show photography is Jesse Palomo, who's been doing our game footage photography. He's been awesome for us. Hopefully we can have him for district games, Robert. Oh, well, yeah, for sure. <coughs> for sure. You know, I know I know his, uh, his hoping is out, and he might not be here with us all the time, but in, 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 the, in, the, in the background, they're doing a lot of work for us. So the War Horses had two two points here via free throw line, but and I always keep saying that when you're struggling in offense, you, you gotta somehow for them to foul you to make points on the free throw line. So 16-2 here. 
Oh, you were asking for a, an exciting game. You might not, not get an exciting game, Bobby. <laughs> might be a blowout, you think? It might be a blowout. We'll see. We'll see. No, I don't know. There's a lot of fight on the uh, war fortress. So be sure to stay with us. If not, we'll entertain you one way or another. Yeah, we'll <laughs> find a way. Yeah, we'll find a way. Mm -hmm. ah, so. so the Cowboy for another game will be on Sunday, right? Not Sunday Saturday. at 3, correct. At 3. Man, I wish it would have been Sunday night. But you know what? I'm off on Monday. I didn't know that. I must have been thinking. No. Oh, wow. Did you have a holiday? Mm -hmm. They just told me the clinic will be closed. Like, really? I didn't know that. <laughs> So that was a nice surprise. Oh, I'll, I'll see you see if we can remember date that day for us. <laughs> An observance. So already one and one there for Divine. As Chrissy has said, that was her seventh foul. Yeah, the Howlings have been playing some tough defense. Uh, uh, quick double team there and, uh, and uh, when they cross the you know, the half court. Mm -hmm. You know, me and my, my son, you know, be watching a lot of Spurs basketball. And uh, in the conversation I asked, you know, he was asking about assist. You know, when, when is an assist and when not an assist? In other words, mm -hmm. if you hold on to a ball like 30 seconds, is that an assist? Or is there like a, a minute drip, how many dribbles? Before it's not an assist, you know. Yeah. And uh, I found out that, uh, you know, of course, in uh, Googling, it says that right. the rule of thumb is no more than two dribbles. Right. And, and that, that's the, the correct assist means it's your your pass has to lead to a basket. Mm -hmm. So if, let's say you pass it and he takes two dribbles to make a layup, that's an assist. If you have to make offensive game moves, that y your assist goes away, meaning that was he did it by himself. So what happens so if you hold on to a ball? Come on, like if you're just standing there and you don't shoot it, and you don't shoot it for like ten seconds or fifteen seconds. Yeah, that's not that's not an assist no more. It's not an assist no more. So it's no. it's time based too. It, it, it's gotta be uh, a flow, like your pass, and then it made it made the basket. Right. Because the moment that the player decides to not move, he stays there, that he killed your pass, your momentum. Yeah, I could never get an answer until, you know, we were bringing it up on, on, uh, on the internet. I'm making me up to the scoreboard, man. I'm staying behind here. 18-14. Oh. So it's good to know, though. I know I, I know I didn't know. I've been watching basketball for a while. I knew I know there's some sort of rule, but <laughs> I wasn't too sure. And and, and uh, because one of the reasons I brought up the assist because which the Spurs are leading the league in assist, which is pretty amazing by itself. Well, it's amazing for those great assist leaders in, in the NBA, Robert. Yeah. As you know, the greatest player of all time is up there. No, no, well, I'm focusing team, not individuals. Right, right. One guy had the same <laughs> same mentality you, you speak of. Is that the team um, first? Michael Jordan. Oh no! The, Michael Jordan the, the was, goat? A, was the most selfish player in the planet. That's why he made. That's why he's the goat. No, 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 no. He's no. He goat. needs somebody with <coughs> killer instincts. In other words, okay, no, no, no. Nobody no, will no. get in the way for it. No, no, that's a score. It's a little guy with a little island by himself. <laughs> a survivor. No, no. A what guy who can lead a team will get rid of that little <laughs> burrito. What do you call those? How do you call gold in Spanish? Mm. Well, let's take a commercial break. There's <laughs> music in the background. We'll yeah, continue the conversation. Oh, I, want, I want to talk. Here at Crystal Dental Care, we practice general dentistry, providing high quality dental care for all our patients from children to adults. Some of the services we provide are root canals, including molar root canals, third molar extractions, same day implants, veneers, teeth whitening, braces, just to name a few. You can find us in Crystal City or at our new location in Catula, Texas.
at Crystal Dental Care. Okay, buddy, we're on. All right, we're back here. We Start of the second period. I'm not sure if that's updated there, but it's six minutes remaining in the second period. Crystal City up 20 to four, 16 point lead. Good ball moving there by Divine. Good rebound, 34, puts it back. So, getting themselves back in the game. 20 to six score. There it is, have to update the, <coughs> the period there. It's so good. Layup no good there for the Warriors. It's fast break opportunity here for the Jaulinas. Out of control. Oh. Almost and one there. Yeah. I mean, he found a way to get some <laughs> control on that and <laughs> took a leap of faith and shot it. South sail to the line. Going back to my Spurs. Mm -hmm. I've been watching a lot of Spurs, but sometimes it's hard to watch, man. You know, they're, they're going through growing pains and their young oh. team. and No, they, they look awesome, Robert. A few games that I've seen the Spurs play... I like their ball movement big time over my Lakers, and that's <laughs> hard to say, Robert. Well, yeah, the Lakers have their own set of problems over there. Well, we, our problems are good problems, Robert. <laughs> Being a Laker, everything's good. No, no, no. So our uh, problems become good problems. No, no, yeah. Well, you have Laker problems. Legal? The thing is, the thing is, when you have Laker problems. Lakers, okay. I Lakers. Thought, I thought you said legal. No, no, <laughs> not legal <laughs> problems. <laughs> I'm, talking about, I'm talking about in the field, not, not, uh, not, uh, not out of the court, excuse me. Okay. <clears throat> Especially when, man, I hate the Lakers. Every news of the Lakers, kind of like the Cowboys in in, in the NFL. Was America's team. Bro. Oh, like oh, Cowboys. You hear you're always about the Cowboys, which I don't mind, of course. But, but now, and basketball, all oh, the Lakers, the Lakers. Oh, oh my, again the Lakers. Well, I, I don't know. They're America's team. <laughs> Just because of LeBron, though. No, well, I don't hear nothing about the Cavaliers nor Miami no more. I wonder what happened right. to them. Are they still in the league? Same thing for the Bulls. And the Bulls that, are playing that, good, that, though. That other guy you talked about, he left them either way. Um, I you know, you know, all the Jordan fans will have all this Bull memorabilia, and he left. They weren't Bulls fans no more. I don't know. Something in garage sales. Yeah, so. Nice quick hands there. On that? the floor, number 15 foul. He's saying on the floor, so the baseline here. Keep in mind that this is a non-district game. I know mm -hmm. the Vine Warriors are in their district and football, but not in outside of football. Right. Basketball, you know, baseball, stuff like that. Which is weird. It is kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. Now, maybe next year we will not even be in the same district at all. I, mean, I know there have been talks, right, Bobby? We might go down on our, instead of 4A Division. Right, 3A. Uh, two will be three division one. So that by itself gonna be interesting. I'm looking forward to that. Me too. Like a little change of pace. I think the competition will stay the same though. Yeah, because there's some tough opponents though. I was telling somebody. Well, you know, the good thing about it, we're going to three. We're not gonna face Quetel. <laughs> but there's always somebody equivalent to Quetel in right. any division. Hey, we had the. Uh the two-way monster come in and showed us up on football. The two-way. Oh, but of course, it's the uh, refugio. Yeah. You know what I mean? So there's always there's always a big bully in any division. So, you know, we'll find them. Yeah. I haven't done much research. I don't know who it is, but. Nice shot there by number 22. Three-pointer. Looks like it might be the first three for the Warriors. Getting, trying to get back this game. I know we talked about him. It might be over, but no, no. We we'll have some fight on them. Yeah. Lots of dribble there. Now hopefully the ball doesn't get over here. For sure, I'm, if I can palm my girl basketball. Man, knows some men basketball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Missed opportunity there for Velasquez. 
So Bobby, do you have a favorite basketball, more like a brand, or does it really matter? Or? It didn't matter. I, I was more of a Spalding guy growing up, mm -hmm. and then Wilson, and then now it's uh, Evolution Basketballs. Is Evolution. Is a, because I see some basketball, they have some like, deep grooves. When you can really feel them in, in your hands. For sure, I really hate the, the general basketballs. You, you buy them at the Dollar General. Yeah, no. So, no. <laughs> plastic ones. Robber, no? Yeah, robber, exactly. Nice, up by Key. Short. 24 13 here. I think one thing in basketball, and you might agree with me, Bobby, that playing with. Certain teammates, you get used to a, 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 a nice side break there. Oh. <laughs> maybe, maybe got too excited there. Oh. I, I think he took off too early. But uh, I was going to say, you know, try to finish my thought here. Uh, you get used to your teammates where they, especially when you go to a basket, you know, you know where position they're going to be at, and, you know, uh, you know, give up the ball, and, you know, and stuff like that. Oh, man. I don't know. Yeah, people like to tend to get to their spots that they enjoy, but you gotta play together for a long time to get in a good groove. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, it's just the offense that tells you where to spot up. So, so that's key, of course, to know the type of offense you have to be in certain mm -hmm. positions. I'm thinking he would want to get that pass back. I'm like, hot potato now. This game here. Oh, oh. That one I would like to for him to gather his composure and kind of uh, mm -hmm. go back and make the shot. So how did it still up by, how much is that? 11. 11? Mm -hmm. We're up as much as... 13 points now, it's 11. I mean, get out. We're up by 14 points. 14 right now. I thought I was thinking going like around 15. Corner. Oh, good shot, shot selection. Rebound the Javelina. I still push the ball there a little bit. Oh, cut into the basket. Nice pass there, and it's good. So I'll sail for two. Okay. Nice use of the pivot there. You know, that's a good example there, Bobby. Take it. I think he hesitated oh. right there. Oh, elbow to the face, no call there. Six thirteen was a minute forty one left here at the second period. I think the fans are starting to come in. Second time out. Okay, let's also take a time out. Be right back. Here at Crystal Dental Care, we practice general dentistry, providing high quality dental care for all our patients from children to adults. Some of the services we provide are root canals, including molar root canals, third molar extractions, same day implants, veneers, teeth whitening, braces, just to name a few. You can find us in Crystal City or at our new location in Catula, Texas. At Crystal Dental Care, we support Mighty Javelinas. Go Hawks, go! Time. 
Okay, we're back. We're back here as the 13-point lead for the Javelinas. A little deficit here for Divine. 34, nice layup there. Yeah, good effective right there. Mm -hmm. It's a nice throw, so could be quarterback there. See the Hubbins can answer back here. A deep three, short rebound, and one. And they responded pretty good here. <laughs> and I know at the last second, I know your my sister, Patty mm -hmm. Castillo, came at the last second in the camera. Came in clutch. On uh, the clutch. Banks it in. 29-15. And now time on this also take a time out. Stay with us, other guests. Frank Serda at Capital Chevrolet. Call me at 512-848-5791. Go Hogs, go. Okay, we're back. All right, we're back here with a minute and 20, 13 seconds remaining in the second period. So far, it's been all <laughs> hobbling all the way. But it looks like the Warhorses are trying to chip away here in this deficit. And that's exactly what they're doing. And, and this pace favors them as they try to slow down the game here. <laughs> it's true. And so far, it's been real effective yeah. here. Oh, the it looks like we're trying to keep the ball moving. Well, trying to bleed the clock here with 56 seconds left. Thirty-four seconds here. Well, it still looked like a nice shot there. Nice. I think the two, everything was perfect, mm -hmm. but it couldn't make the basket there. Seventeen seconds. Playing ten for a basket here, oh. and there it is. Ten-point game, just like that. I think in the last position for the I think they, they took too much time. Mm -hmm. yeah, kind of out of control there. Shot there. And that's the end of the first half here. So, halftime ball game here. 29-19, Robin. Yes. Let's take a commercial break. I'm going to be right back. Hello, Crystal City and all the surrounding areas. My name is Jesus Ramon. I'm a fellow graduate from Crystal City High School class of 2002. I'm here to give some insight on what J11 Financial can help you with. For individuals, we offer retirement services such as a traditional IRA, Roth IRA, and 401k rollover. We also offer other investments such as individual and joint accounts, UTMA, and 529 college savings. We also offer life insurance, such as term, whole life, and final expense. For our business owners, we offer retirement and investment accounts, key person insurance. We also offer group benefits for your employees, such as medical, dental, vision, and life insurance. Please feel free to contact me if you'd like to learn more about what we can do for you. You can reach us at 210-373-2220. From everyone here at JLM Financial, we want to wish everyone a safe and happy school year. Go Hawks, go.
John Glass Boutique and Solonsky Welding and Pump would like to wish the Mighty Havelinas a very successful year. Go Hogs, go! Here at Crystal Dental Care, we practice general dentistry, providing high quality dental care for all our patients from children to adults. Some of the services we provide are root canals, including molar root canals, third molar extractions, same day implants, veneers, teeth whitening, braces, just to name a few. You can find us in Crystal City or at our new location in Catula, Texas. At Crystal Dental Care, we support mighty javelinas. Go Hawks, go! The COVID-19 vaccines can be our chance to get back to our plans, who we are, what we miss, to get back to each other, to life. But it's okay to have latest information at getvaccineanswers.org. COVID-19 has changed how we show up and show out with our family. Now it's time to take the first step that lets us get back to talking smack with the side of mac and cheese. Before we can safely come together, we need the facts. As COVID-19 vaccines become available, you may have questions. Should I get it? Is it safe? Should I wait? It's smart to question. Now, get the facts at GetVaccineAnswers.org so you can make an informed decision when vaccines are available to you.
Shout out to another guy's sports show, man. Y'all might get me on one day. Awesome. I'm around. I'm local. Hi, everybody. I'm Larry Ramirez with Case Outdoor Sports, and you are watching the other guy's sports show. Okay, we're back. All right, the start of the second half. Seven minutes on the clock. And the line will be now to your right. That's a good break. He allows me to eat my M&Ms here. Yeah, I'm, I'm going hard on my water here, Robert. <laughs> Let me update the scoreboard here. Velasquez, oh, not able to finish there. Good basket there for number 15. Making this a nine point game. They give the points to Divine instead of. What's the, what's the, what's the, it should be 30. Uh, 20, 29 to 21. Okay. All right? Well, I don't know. Who we'll scored the last basket? Oh, Divine, yes. Yeah. It was Divine, yes. There we go. Looks like they corrected the, mm -hmm. the issue. So yeah. going back in the first, I know the first first two periods has been all good city. But somehow late in the second period, the Lions trying to ship away for, here from this deficit here. Mm -hmm. And like you said, I think you, you, you hit it right on the head, Bobby. It's definitely slowed down the pace. Yeah, and that's a lot of times you just want to have good control basketball. So Ooh. that's what you tend to do. Arenas, Jesus Arenas with that nice three-pointer there. I think no, looks at Jolito with a nice interception. Velasquez or here gets our it. Conversation. Oh, unable to complete it. Or he, he'll be on the line here, shooting two. What's your conversation, Robert? What you no, no, but it looks like we were talking about that Divine is chipping away from the oh. deficit. It mm -hmm. that somehow Jolito listened to our conversation. You know what? I'm going to show you guys here. Yeah. It's a nice deep three here. Also, I like it. You know, I always keep saying that, well, I always like it coming down at halftime to kind of regroup, and, you know, and, and show your best effort coming down at halftime. It looks like the Hollanders mm. are doing that, you know, being aggressive offensively and clearly on defense. Yeah, and what I like is this coach, um, Olvedo, there for JV. He gets to give everybody a few minutes to play, and that's, you know, to me, Junior, anything below varsity is all development, so... I, I always rather I rather lose and have everybody play than than win and have kids not play at all yep, yep. in the developmental stages. Mm -hmm. Now varsity I can understand varsity is about winning. So you know I remember back in the day that Coach Castillo would say you know but he will let them know up front you know you want to earn minutes that put it in the practice squad. Another <coughs> three here. I think that's with another three there. So. Because you want to go to the state championship. That's what varsity is for. So, you know, and he will tell some players that, hey, you may not never step foot in the game, but know that your 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 role and value is, is very much needed, and that's to make each other better in practice. Mm -hmm. No, you're right, though, because at this point you want to develop, mm -hmm. show what they can do. You know, and, and, and by all means, everybody has to keep working on their craft all year round, whatever it is, reading, language, um, science, math, basketball, um, football, softball. You got to work on it all year to get better in your craft. Yeah, it is. And like anything else, there's some, uh, there's some late bloomers out there. And that develop later, you know, and oh, somehow yes. they I've just get that. it. Yeah. And there's some early boomers that, man, you, you see one year and then I'm like, man, they're the next MJ, you know, then right. you, you hear, hear from them again. No, that happens a lot. A lot of time a kid can get a, a, a hit of himself and have a, his, his ego can get bigger than his game. And, you know, you just happen to be three feet taller in seventh grade, but come your sophomore year, you know, you're the shortest guy in the in the high school. Yeah, you can't be too high or too low. Yeah. You should have to be in the middle. Yeah. I think I heard somebody, the song you're, what was it? The song you get better than than yesterday. 
Yeah. Who would say such a thing? Wow. Somebody said that. I don't know. Uh, I heard it in TV. Yeah, you know what? As long as you're better than yesterday, man. Mm -hmm. Some zip right there. Yeah. I just say, I just know that. Unless you're Michael Jordan, you need to get better. Talent alone is never enough. <laughs> Sometimes the greatest players are the hardest workers, Robert. Yep. Who said that? I don't know, Lombardi? No, Magic Johnson. <sighs> Magic Johnson. You the, know, greatest, the greatest of all time. I don't have any quotes from Michael Jordan. I'll read up on him next time. <laughs> Michael Jordan is like, give me the ball. <laughs> Did he say just do it? No. That was, no, that was Nike. That, that was Nike. Oh, man. It, it must be the shoes. <coughs> <coughs> that was. Little Penny. Who? Little Penny. <laughs> was it? Little or Penny, though, was it? On that other ah, one. No, 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 the no. commercial. Oh, the, it must be the shoes. Like, uh, uh, Spike Lee? Yeah, Spike Lee. That got out of the, yeah. the next sidelines. Yeah. Magic Johnson shoes just never took off, Robert. I have two pairs. I'll say. Magic shoes, man. I don't know, man. I don't know how I don't know how MJ does it or Nike does it. It's mm. Struck gold on those. I'm gonna jump, man. Oh, he lost the ball. I don't think you know. Usually, uh, it's hard for any shoes to to really grow. Como dices? Like, you, you, you usually don't, don't hear come on, like new shoes come on like I know like we talked about last year about the Kawhi those, those what was it called the Jolly Ranchers or yeah. what do you call them what was it New Balance mm -hmm. well I'm just hoping Vanessa Bryan and Nike get it together and give me some more Kobe shoes because I know that well, yeah, aren't they mm -hmm. chewing each other or something like that well Vanessa just wasn't too happy about I don't no, know, that's that, the, about the accent, right? That memorable yeah, that's right. shoes for Gigi Bryant came out without her authorizing you know, the shoes. So she put a stop to the whole production. So hopefully they'll get it together and I can order some instead of paying crazy amount for shoes. <laughs> oh, oh, nice, nice basket. basket, number 22. Looks like now... The Hawaiians, you know, making that brand. This is that, that's Eric Mata there on the floor. He's got Justin Reynolds, um, Eric Mata, number ten, Jaden Maldonado, number twenty-four, Jared Uravaso, and Tristan Gonzalez on the court right now. Three, bank it no good. Bank was close. Another three in the corner. Wow. I was watching the NBA. Uh, first, I get somebody else, and, and somebody did a, come on, like, a, you know, jump back to do a three. A lot of people do that, mm -hmm. right? The guy took, like, three steps doo -doo 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 -doo, <laughs> and made a three, and, and, you know, it was called for travel. You know, the commentator was saying, man, you know, not, not, I don't think not even LeBron would get away with that one. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he was wrong about that. LeBron, <laughs> LeBron might, he, will get away with it. He that. probably will get away with it. Yeah, <laughs> he, he has that MJ statue there. MJ got away with murder when he played basketball. Yeah, yeah it's true. Somehow the, the megastar superstars tend to get away with a lot of things. Yeah, Magic Johnson just never was in that era. Magic Johnson had to earn everything, even oh. assist. <laughs> just so you know. Because of Magic Johnson, there's people that know Kurt Rambis. Kurt Rambis. Well, he basically made the made the Lakers at the time. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't remember any well, teammates there. Oh, nicely the, again. The other MJ. Mata connecting again. Three points. You know, Dennis Rodman. Scottie Pippen. Yeah. Oh. Jerry kind of lost himself his footing there. See, the thing is, come on, like, I talk about Michael Jordan, I'm like, I'm a fan of the Bulls. Really, I was not a fan of the Bulls. I, I kind of hated the Bulls. But I, I, just, I like the Bulls. I just didn't like I, Michael Jordan. No. I just and, I, and I never will. I, I just respected him. Come on, like, uh, even Kobe. I never liked Kobe. But, you know, it's, it's too good of a player not to yeah. ignore. It's just too damn good. No. Kobe is just a lot better than Michael Jordan. You know what I mean? But I said it know, here. I, I hated it. The 14 listeners that are watching on the other guy's sports <laughs> show, just know Kobe Bryant was better than Michael Jordan. No, bre, you're insane. Or <laughs> you food poisoning uh, the no, nachos or what? Oh, my God. You're crazy. 
it, it, they, they say that Michael Jordan was gold. Well, the Wizards banked on that and lost. Just so you know. The Wizards. Yeah, the Wizards had the same mentality, and they gambled, and they lost. You're talking about when, when, when with Michael Jordan went with the Wizards? Yeah. No, Wizards. That, that was, that was, it was over the hill. Then, was, then, then he wasn't all time. Then he was <laughs> only six years. Yeah, I agree with that. Nah, Greatest was, of six years. He was, it was a beast before that. Magic was in the finals even his last year. He even took Vladi Divac to the finals. <laughs> Vladi Divac. We could take him to the finals. Yeah. Take anybody. Yeah. You're in the finals. You're an elite. You're great. <laughs> From his first year to his last year, Magic was in the finals. You know, it's a shame, though. Back in the days when, you know, I didn't see too much uh, Magic Johnson basketball. I would see him here so often, but, but I didn't really pay too much attention at the time. Mm -hmm. even, even Larry Bird, too. You know, I didn't, I didn't really... Uh, Larry, too much. Larry Bird was awesome. He's another great. Try to be great on his time. Yeah, and I don't think they talk about him much. No, because he was overshadowed by number 32. Yeah, but even uh, but usually when I got into basketball, it was kind of it was late in everybody's career. But Jordan was younger, you know. Then jo then. Jordan just got, was able to beat Duckworth or can I know, all star at his time. Who? Oh. Duckworth, exactly. So from the uh, Duckworth, that kid uh, from the Portland Trailblazers. Yeah, exactly. Kevin, Kevin Duckworth. Uh, I, hate, I hated that guy. Oh, uh, see, and that's the guy who Michael Jordan was tasked to beat. I'm like, come on, man. I think I could give him a few points. Get out of here with that. Anyways, 21 on the line, Mr. Hernandez. So 47, 29. Good rotation, money good. Keep in mind that we'll be showing the varsity after the conclusion of this game. Yes. And, and Ad Adolph Robinson, one of our great fans there from Puerto, Texas. Thank you for watching the other guy's sports show, man. Oh, yeah. He's, he's one of the, I would say, top two or three fans of the guy's sports show. From Gobbler County. Country, I'm sorry. Don't you hold up. You do have glasses, but you don't bring them. That's true. That's that's I, that's I, the thing, is it? I think I left them in the office. Today was one of those days that I had to pull them out. I, I, unless you're one of those people, I'm too cool to wear glasses. No, no, no. No, no. no. I'd rather see. <laughs> I'd rather be able to see. But. You'd rather see? Oh, okay. But the thing is that I think I need to go back and get a different type of glasses because I think I just need reading glasses, but... The fact when I look anybody over 10 feet away, my eyes start to hurt again. Oh, yeah. And anybody gets blurry. I know. Mm -hmm. You can't beat Father Time. Unless you're Tom Brady, then you can beat him. No. No, Tom Brady at the. <laughs> he might play football into his 50s, I think. No, nah, well, as long as he has the refs in his pocket, he can play to 60. <laughs> 60. He can't be touched. He, he has like a four feet aura in front of him that cannot be penetrated. Ref will call it. So, let's talk about basketball, football. <laughs> who's, who's your who's your two teams to go to the Super Bowl? Uh, I really don't have an answer for that, Robert. Two Did teams to go to the... I don't have a favorite. I'm just a uh, Dallas Cowboys fan, so yeah. I'm hoping the Dallas Cowboys fan. I don't know. Out of the way. Anybody but there? Just who's your top two? You know, I, I like the Cowboys also, by all means, but I don't think they'll make it to the Super Bowl. Yeah, I, I, I really don't. I know the Titans are awesome. And on the NFC, I, I, I would like love the Cowboys. I would love to the Bills to go to the Super Bowl, but mm -hmm. I don't know if they can. On the AFC side? Yeah, AFC side. I don't know if they can manage it, though, but they're real inconsistent. Let us know, our, our listeners, who's your favorite AFC and NFC team to make it to yeah. the Super Bowl? Remember, remember, you have to take up if you're – I'm a, I'm a Cowboy fan, so, you know, you can't say mm -hmm. Cowboys. All, you know. I, I, want the Cow I want the Cowboys to win the Super Bowl. But I'm going to say – I don't know. Yeah, you got the emotion. Put it to, put put it it to the, the side. To the side. The heart to the side, just brain. Exactly. Just rip out your heart I, and, I, and I, kind of I, think about it. I can't even do that, Robert. Oh, My heart. Time, time pegado. It's attached. <laughs> I, I moved it right now, Rob. It came back. 
Cowboys. I was like, no, let's see. No, Cowboys. Came back. Dallas Came Cowboys back. to the Super Bowl. <laughs> and on the AFC side, I say... You what did do, I say already? You do look at... I think the Packers. The Titans. I think the Packers. Oh. Okay. Even though I don't like them. <coughs> and, uh, you know, it's... it's When I say that, it's bitter. Bitter taste of all. Uh, I can't even say it. And uh, I think from the AFC. Mani Arenas. Man, it's, it's been hot from the three. It might be his third three or fourth three. Yeah. He's, he's been making his paper there. Yeah, I don't think Tom Brady can make it in the Super Bowl. I'll, I'll be shocked if, if he goes to the Super Bowl. Or if he wins it. Well, I hope not. But 53-29, Robert. I, I know mm. the, the Titans. I don't know. You know, a lot of people talk about the Titans. I don't know if I like they can the make it. I don't, I don't know if they can make it, though. I, li I like Tennessee. But you're right. I mean, I think he's wide open and... You know, I like I like the Bills, I like the Chiefs. Yeah, I like the Chiefs are playing real well late in the season. Mm -hmm. uh, so you know they're they're playing good ball. Well, nobody in the audience has mentioned any team, Robert, on the Facebook side. So nobody will go to the Super Bowl. No, I got nobody here in YouTube. Mm -hmm. So. Maybe well, they have. So maybe it's they gonna have be the Cowboys, Robert. <laughs> it's gonna be the Cowboys. By default, and the Titans. <laughs> the Cowboys will beat the Titans. Uh, I will. I will. I will love to see the. Not, not love to see, but I'm trying to figure out in the NFC though, and the AFC. Excuse me, in the AFC. The two teams I don't want to see is the Titans and the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. I mean, the Chiefs and Tampa Bay. I think the teams. I don't want. I don't want to go to the Super Bowl. Not even win it. Uh, Packers. Tampa Bay, the Chiefs, the Niners, <laughs> the, Niners. the Eagles. <laughs> Who's left the Cowboys? <laughs> exactly, the Cowboys <laughs> going to the Super Bowl. <laughs> so it's it's done. Ya está hecho, ya están escritos aquí. I don't know, I don't know. You know, uh, mm. did the Patriots make? The, yeah, Patriots make the playoffs, right? I don't think uh, they'll make it. I'm a true Dallas Cowboy fan, Rob. That I don't, I have no clue of any other team. Oh. I, I, I have to ask a full Niner fans what time the Cowboys play sometimes because <laughs> they saben más que They vez. know it yeah, exactly. They know. They, they, know they, uh, they they follow the Cowboys better than I do sometimes. Uh huh. Those, those haters know more about the Cowboys than I do. Yeah, that's I, pretty amazing. Yeah, I have to tell them like, and they'll tell me this quarterback has this issue, blah blah blah. And I'm like, okay, great. Thanks for following my team. <laughs> And I ask him, ask me who, who the running back is for the 49ers. I have no clue. Um, yep. no, I don't know. No, no sé nada. Even and that's one of the main reasons why I didn't even like playing fantasy football. Because you start knowing everybody in the NFL. I think not even Niner fans know who's the, who's the running back. Oh, Robert, <laughs> we got a Packer fan already saying the Packers. <clears throat> No, are you saying that? Are you saying that because if you're a Packer fan, or you believe they're gonna? Are you thinking with your brain or with your heart? That's what I want to know. No, well, we need to ask Rafina Olvedo. Is it? Are you going with your heart, gut, or brain? Yeah. Let no. us know. No, don't use your heart. No. I don't like the Packers. I don't want the Packers to lose. I just like the Packers colors, and that's about it. Out there. Nice basket there. Arena's having a field day, Robert. Oh, no, Arena's has been a beast. So 55 29. Oh, oh, there that, it is. It's solidified victory for the Javelinas that's, here. That's based on statisticians and analysts. Uh -huh, it's uh, over. Magicians, uh, uh, it alchemists, and whoever. Yeah. You know, I've seen all the work from MIT and Stanford. They say anybody who reaches 55 first. Close also, to victory. Also, I think we saw that out of the, the Dead Sea Scrolls. Also came out of that one, too. Whoever reaches 55 wins. I'm still thinking about that. One. You know, I'm going with the Bills. Let me put it that way. You're going for the Bills? Bills. Bills and Packers. To the uh, Super Bowl? Yeah. Oh, you're crazy. Man. Okay, she answered or... He with the heart, oh. yeah. So that's that's a disclaimer right there. No, yeah, it's uh, delete the comment. 
please. No, no cuento. <laughs> no cuento. It's also for hard. I want I want the Cowboys and Cowboys to go to Super Bowl. AFC and NFC. But it's not going to happen. The comments are off now. What's up with that? Why can't I see the comments now, Rob? Oh, yeah, yeah, go. Oh, I, I have to, yeah, go, swipe. Go to swipe to the left. Uh -huh. So this is JV. So she went with Hart. And the Hart will always lie. <laughs> That's how it hurts more when, when your team, when like the Cowboys, you know. It's the fourth period. Oh, yeah. I haven't updated it. Let me update. Mm -hmm. We're at the fourth period. Yeah, it's fourth. The score is 57-31. We're talking about too much basketball or football. Oh, come on. Mm -hmm. Same type of property movie. I'm not sure what's all the commotion. I wasn't even paying attention. That was a foul on Divine there. <laughs> Harry Thompson, and we were trying to get him involved in this ball game. Harry pulls it out. Oh, it looked good. <clears throat> They're getting excited here. I don't know. I thought that shot didn't look good from, you know. Mm -hmm. I thought it was going to go in, but nope, did not go in. And I, and I love seeing that when, when you got a good lead, you, you can start getting your teammates involved and trying to get them some baskets here. It's true because, you know, you, know, you don't want everybody to, to succeed. Mm -hmm. So this is a JV ball game. We'll be doing varsity right after this. Keep it here with the other guys' sports show. If you like what we're doing, make sure you donate. Our cash app is the other guys' sports show, abbreviated T O G S S. Yeah, let me see if I can bring it up. I haven't brought it up in a while. And we use 100% of this funds for equipment and travel expenses. Mm. 57-31. Foul number four, Thompson. They're not letting us know how many fouls they all got. But... What about the Bengals, Bobby? What do you think about the Bengals in the... No, I don't think... I don't think don't the think Bengals are in the playoffs? Yes, they are. They won the division. Mm. Or their conference. Wow. So they had a good year this year then. Who, who's like their main star player? Probably the, run, the, the quarterback. That's a yeah, second year. I think it is. Mm -hmm. Here, let me go with the uh, matchups here. Raiders at Bengals. Patriots... At Bills, that should be a fun game. Mm -hmm. Eagles at Buccaneers, that should be interesting. Niners at the Boys. Steelers at the Chiefs. And then Monday night, not just be a good game here. The Cardinals at the Rams, that should be a good game Monday night. That's gonna be a good game. Mm -hmm. Oh, Robert, I think the Rams. That last game against the 49ers, man, that was a heck of a game. Yeah, I didn't see the game, though, but... Uh, yeah, I, the 49ers looked like they were going to be out of it. And um, the 49ers were able to come back and make it a game. But they were one first down away from sealing the, the fate of the 49ers there, but... There's some good uh, 
good playoff games in the weekend, so it should be interesting. And I have not been at the scoreboard. 36. 37-36. Saucedo on the line. On the floor, we have Saucedo, number 11, Adrian Saucedo. Number four, Harry Thompson, 33, Jose Bonilla Adame. Number five, Justin Reynolds. And number 22, Eric Mata. Here for the JV Javelinas. Money. So be sure uh, we're going to start a new broadcast. So be sure to refresh your page. And you should get it. We don't have to worry about that if you're following us on YouTube or in, in YouTube. If you're on YouTube, be sure to, to subscribe to us. <laughs> Looking for a player to shoot. Lines it up. Oh, oh man, it looked good. Really good. Uh huh. He may not have maybe one more opportunity to, to shoot. Yeah. 38 seconds. <laughs> 31 seconds. Maybe in a fast break. Look, he's trying to look for Thompson. <laughs> he's coming up. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> he had it. <laughs> he had it. Hey, he, ha he has a good touch, though. He does have a nice touch. Uh, you're see. right. Mm. And maybe one more opportunity. E I don't know. I don't think so. Take it. Take it. <laughs> it was a good attempt, though. Oh, right, right. <laughs> that was, hey, was fun. I'm glad they had fun there. So, so good for them. Final score. The JV team. Mighty Havilina is 58 to 38, a 20 point lead there. Nice, mm -hmm. nice. Uh, dominating game, I think, from start to finish. Yeah, I mean, they, they took the reins from the start. So, with that being said, Robert, it is sealed. The other Magic Johnson, the greatest of all time. No, no, no. Let's no, no, no. <laughs> go to the next production. Okay. Let's call it that. We'll be right back in, what, five? Maybe yeah. 10 minutes? 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Okay. Give us 10 minutes, guys. We gotta go buy some I got a, Cheetos or something. I gotta powder my nose also. Makeup. Mm -hmm. Makeup. I need makeup. makeup. <laughs> Stay with us. I got sports.